Inside the clubhouse, some of the Dodgers are getting ready for Players Weekend. Three days of games that open the door to personal fashion choices. You know, I wanted to just dedicate my Players Weekend here, you know, to the Laker team right here. So, you know, right here you just have all the retirement numbers. Then you got the downtown LA, all the championships. Now, you know, hopefully I can pitch two games this series so I can wear also my foundation shoes. So the Kenny Jansen Foundation, the Heart of the Lion, and then you got the KJ, the Kenny Jansen Foundation logo. Gosh, it's this. Hey, she picking, man. She's my designer now, man. Hey, man. What's up? What's up, dog? I appreciate you for coming, man. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. How you doing? Hi, everybody. Hope you're enjoying yourself. Want to welcome you to the first annual A Night of Courageous Hearts, which is benefiting the Kenley Jansen Foundation. Without further ado, I want to welcome Kenley and Gianni Jansen. Please give them a round of applause. Well, um, you know, it's amazing. Um, standing in front of 56,000 people pitching in the mound and thought that I could handle that pressure, but this one is a whole lot worse. So. <laughs> a little bit nervous here, so, um, but I want to thank everybody for coming. This means definitely a lot for uh, me and my wife, Gianni, for- we love you, Kenley. <laughs> thank you, yeah, for what we tried to, yeah. What we tried to accomplish for kids, you know, so um, with me and my wife, Gianni, it started, um, you know, being in New York, I remember one year, um, two years ago, um, my kids, my, our son just got um, sick. It was 2017, you know, our son got sick and go to the hospital and, you know, we spent basically our holidays in the hospital, most, most of it. Caden tonsils got super swollen up that um, he couldn't breathe. It's hard, it's sad, devastating, and then he's like just quiet, bored, and then also keep watching the machines, what's going on. He wants to know what's happening. Caden was down, uh, down on himself all the time. To see our kid being sick and don't have no toys, no nothing to play, and my wife just, you know, get, hand, hand him a toy, and it doesn't matter how sick he was at that time, just that one toy who makes, a, who makes him happy. When we hand it over, it's like he's lighted up. He's like, oh, my, you know, my iPad, and then he's watching in it, and then he start touching it and playing. So me and Kelly noticed that, we said, and we, we talked about it, and we felt that this is our call, to help kids that suffering from serious illnesses. That's how we kind of come put it together to have a Kelly Jensen locker. From that experience, Kenley's locker was born. It's the hallmark of his foundation, which launched earlier this year Inside are tablets, video games, and DVD players, all meant to distract and entertain patients in pediatric care during their stays. And their hope is to put these lockers in hospitals throughout the Los Angeles area. I've been in the hospital bed myself a couple of times, um, you know, after a heart surgery, um, and it's pretty boring. It's pretty boring, and for those kids, I can imagine the same thing too. So for them to have an iPad, video games, stuff like that, you know, you, you take your mind totally away from what, how you're feeling and all that stuff. It's a huge difference. It's not something you can necessarily quantify or measure. Um, again, no one wants to be in a hospital. Nobody asks to be here. So anytime we've got iPads, stories, movies, entertainment, it's always a blessing. We want to create a bond in between the patients, the hospital, with our family. We want them to feel that our family cares for them. What we do is we don't only give the locker, but we also keep going to the hospital. People are definitely going to be excited, so um, not for me to build lockers only, but also interact with kids in the hospital and invite them to the game. Like, 
um, I did in my bobblehead game. Thank you. <laughs> Please give a big round of applause for Nicole Whiteman. She has a check presentation for the Jansons. So the Dodgers Foundation is all about um, helping youth and families with limited access to education, to health, and to sports. And Kenley and Gianni are doing just that. And so tonight, I am so pleased to present them with a check for $90,000. I think people start to know and start to see what I try to do and it's awesome. So I'm looking forward for more of these events and like I say, keep continuing to raise funds to help help kids, you know. I just try to speak for them. That's that's how I see it. I am always proud of Kelly um, since he, since we started with each other and everything everything Kelly do I'm proud of him because he have a heart of gold 